think that we are kind of dangerous. We are the proof that it works. Jeder, jeder Bauer muss halt selbst schauen, wie er am besten äh, durchkommt und wie er am besten. Der eine mehr, mehr mache ich jetzt das mit der Mühle, andere. In the last year we have a lot of problems because the farming uh, prices for farming production is too low. We have uh, in this time a milk price from 35 cents. This is the best in the last uh, time, but it's very dif different, sometimes 25, 28, and for to manage well, we must have um, nearly 50 cents. And because of these problems, um, we looked long time ago for other means of income, mm -hmm. and so we have um, solar power systems on our roofs, and we have um, wind piles on our, and we ran this ground to the company for uh, 20 years and so we have this uh, new incomes and we produce uh, good uh, energy, green energy. For very many of the farmers that was a second uh, economic leg to stand on. If you join a cooperative as a farmer, uh, it's not just you who is selling uh, a product but it's a group of farmers that is the volume is larger you're so so you can participate in the market more actively and of course it allows you to balance out what individual farmers could probably not achieve this means half million euros to construct such a roof with a capacity of 100 kilowatt peak we had all kinds of participation schemes in, uh, uh, in renewable energies right from the start. Uh, the question is, how do you organize them? People just uh, threw in their money and said, OK, we'll, sit, we'll build this uh, small wind turbine or we'll build this solar power plant on a very small scale. Uh, of course, there are big and small co-ops. Uh, we have in Germany co-op banks uh, that are quite uh, sizable. And 158 fans gave money. We produce every year more than 250,000 kilowatt hours. This is enough electricity for one season. I'm in fact from a small village, 100 inhabitants, so it is pretty small. We are very close to large coal-fired power stations, and you can see that change. At first, of course, it was hardly visible. Now, of course, you can, the wind farms have become more visible and you can see that people recognize uh, that renewable energies is uh, uh, pulling a lot of weight now. You can see solar panels now, we can see some of the biogas plants that are springing up around us. So it's very much a grassroots way of doing business. The city here has 2,500 inhabitants, but we have the right of the city to have a... The radioactive cloud of Chernobyl, when the nuclear reactor um, exploded, it had a big impact uh, all over Germany. Afterwards, people uh, realized very quickly that uh, the evil has to be fight it, uh, um, at, its, at its root. And this root is the nuclear energy and the electricity production from these power plants. So we started to make energy saving competitions. We are the only electricity supplier in all over Germany and uh, I think in all over the world um, who is, um, has developed from a citizen's movement, from the anti-nuclear movement. We were kind of trademark in the anti-nuclear movement in all over Germany. And we decided, yes, we sell our electricity in all over Germany. At the very beginning, we were flooded by customers who heard about that story from the newspapers, from the TV, from ever.
We are the proof that it works. In China it works and in all over Germany it works. Oh, we may need a change in the, uh, in the whole world. 100 percentages renewable energy everywhere. Nobody knew whether uh, it would last 20 or 30 years or we would, we would still be in the community because uh, we have elections every six, six years. But we said, let's set up a program and just uh, fix the aims and then we will see. I think uh, everybody in the village uh, takes advantage out of it. A lot of the people here in the village are connected to our central heating system or they have photovoltaic installations, or they participate in the windmills. So, everybody can participate. Uh, we don't want to have the big companies who invest there. We want to have our citizens to invest there. That's uh, very, very important. And everybody can take profit out of them. All these windmills are accepted. Because people say, OK, these are our windmills. Political parties are not important at all. Uh, we are. We have three different parties in our community, but uh, not a green party. Um, we like the greens, but <laughs> um, for us it's not important because conservative politics mean uh, um, well to to conserve nature, to conserve nature and to conserve your surroundings. That is conservative politics. We are kind of tra traditional here. We are in the middle of Bavaria and traditions are very important. So that's conservatives as well. But uh, to keep it like it is, or even to improve it, that's uh, part of conservative politics. We have taken the first steps and we have, I think, reached a point where this is definitely not some additional energy anymore, but it's carrying its weight as far as our national energy supply is concerned. First of all, of course, it's a political issue. Uh, you need basically three things to get a renewable energies project going. And as far as I'm concerned, that's the feed-in tariff that gives you, particularly as a small business, the security uh, that makes a project bankable. We have a fixed tariff that is guaranteed for, tw for, for 20 years. That is the lifetime of most of the renewable energy plants. So you have income, demonstrable income, uh, safe income. The second one is uh, get planning permission. The third one is uh, access to grid. Uh, this is, of course, a very tricky issue, uh, but again, if you have uh, strong, strong legislation that simply says that if it's a renewable project, the grid operator must uh, connect you by law, um, that removes uh, an enormous obstacle. And if you have these three things in place, you have a project. Very important ingredients are uh, creativity, civic courage, and having no fear of authorities, and not believing any lie. Very important is uh to get, I always say, to get the people, the citizen, into your boat. Uh, what means uh, the participation of, uh, of citizens. What we have learned in Germany is the American way of life. Just do it, just go a step ahead and then you see uh, if it worked, then you take the next step and not forget to uh, celebrate the successes. Talk to your local politicians, talk to your state politicians. Let's get them to agree that, that it's a good idea to run um, uh, perhaps a lighthouse project uh, that will allow you to show uh, that this can be done, and it can be done.